What's going on, y'all? This is Mo from the ATW Podcast, and welcome to my 30 and 30 NBA preview. Coming in at number 29, we got the Memphis Grizzlies. So I'm going to be straight up with you guys. There ain't really much I could say that's really that interesting about this team. The Grizzlies are one of those teams that are pretty much forced into a rebuild. Their best players are looking for situations where they can win now, while the front office is looking for situations where, they're, where they can rebuild and start over. They still have Mike Conley. They still have Marcus Gasol. Conley, who will be 31 at the start of the season and coming off of an Achilles injury, which for those of you who don't know is probably the worst common injury that anyone could suffer, especially an athlete. So seeing how he comes off as an injury will allow the Memphis front office and the coaching staff to get a better take on the direction this franchise will go in maybe sooner rather than later. Another key piece, obviously, is Marc Gasol, like I said before. Entering his 11th season with the franchise, Gasol isn't really getting any younger, turning 34 in January. Gasol will soon be facing the back end of his career, but good thing for him, his game doesn't really rely too much on athleticism. It's primarily skill-based. So he could really last for a while, just like his brother in San Antonio. Last season, Memphis's roster was forever expanding as with all the injuries that they had to suffer, they were forced to try out many different D-League call-ups and sign them to many 10-day contracts. So with that lack of consistency within their roster, this made them extremely difficult to find a rhythm throughout the season and obviously win games on the court. Obviously, because they didn't win many games, they were blessed with the second overall pick in the draft where they selected versatile big Jaron Jackson out of Michigan State. Jackson is also one of those players that shows how much the game has evolved as he has a good game from the mid-range down, but he can also step out and knock down the occasional tray ball. Other than Jackson, Memphis didn't really make any significant tweaks to the roster during the offseason. Because of that, I think the Grizz will once again fail to make the playoffs under current head coach J.B. Bickerstaff for the second season in a row. What's going to be most important for this team is to figure out what direction they ultimately want to go in. Because if the front office decides to take this team to, into a fresh new direction, they have to move away from Gasol and Conley and guys who were from that era, which is what I think they're going to do. I believe there's a strong chance that Marc Gasol gets traded at or before the trade deadline. They should do this in order to get the most they can out of the out of his value while it's still moderately high because if you choose to play him the whole season you run the risk for injury and as we all know father time is undefeated this puts the main focus directly on the young bulls coming up guys like dylan book dylan brooks wayne selden jaron jacks guys that should be focused on by this organization other than that we're looking at another rebuilding year for the memphis grizzlies and there you guys have it at number 29, the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, if you guys have not checked out my last preview on number 30, the Phoenix Suns, go ahead and check that out. And also keep an eye out as I will be releasing previews just like this relating to each team leading up to the season. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter at MVO underscore 32, on IG at I am underscore Mo3, and on SoundCloud where you can find each and every one of the podcasts at After the Whistle. Thank you guys, and I'll see y'all next time.